pretty good. Today I'm going to be unboxing this Anchor USB-C hub for a MacBook Pro. I do have a new MacBook Pro actually used and uh, I needed inputs that can cover USB, uh, HDMI and uh, not cover my Type-C or Thunderbolt. And this 2020 MacBook Pro only has Thunderbolt Type-C and I need USB access as well as possibly HDMI. So I bought this. It was recommended by a, uh, a Mac person. Okay, I just had to pause for a second so I can cut the top so I can access to open this. Okay, here we go. So this is the anchor adapter. And there's two Type-C Thunderbolt that can go in the side of this or that can go on the side of this side and this got the top side here so I'm going to use this side to the left and we just connect it okay such and such and so the reason why I need to have access to this is because all these ports I'm going to disconnect it again so we can have a closer view so here we have all these inputs uh, you don't lose a type C so because they're going to reuse it here you got the USB and uh, you got one HDMI up here and then it looks like a micro SD and an SD card and I often work with SD cards for work and so I need to uh, copy files so I don't have to work with these old systems here where I need to plug it in so now I can directly tap into a uh, um, external hard drive through that and uh, I'm going to test it out with this USB. Stand by. I'm going to pause and read this error. Okay. It was just a update on the software. So here is input for the SD card. It doesn't give you quite uh, images to follow through. See if you're inputting it correctly or not. But let me pull this out again to see if we're actually doing it right. So here's the teeth. There's the teeth right there. It doesn't go in as quite easily, but there you go. So it looks like it's in. So it looks like it has to be upside down. Okay, I plugged it in. Disc ejected, and we are seeing a read right there. Uh, disc not ejected properly, okay. So I see the file here. And I'm seeing the read. So this is footage that we needed from an event. And it looks like uh, it's reading the card. So great. I'm just going to pause just to, just to uh, look through the folders. Okay, so that worked. I'm going to eject it. And now I'm going to run it through a system where how we used to do it, which is running it through a use uh, this card reader, and then uh, see if it can run and read it through the USB input. Okay, what the top side is there? Okay, it's hard to. There you go see if it reads it unfortunately it doesn't look like it's reading it oh yeah it's blue okay it read it okay there it is here is the, the files okay voila it works okay I'm gonna eject it and do one more test which is to to connect it to HDMI. Stand by as I relocate the phone. Okay, let me just break it down. What I did here, connected a uh, HDMI, which runs into this monitor, and here is the laptop. And as you can see, it is connected. So the HDMI works. Window is not available. Why not? So I'm gonna see if I can drag this over there. And I think I just need to do some um, 
adjusting on the second um, monitor here but it seems to be connected I see the mouse there and uh, I just need to um, probably change some settings in order to have all this capability here but yeah the idea was to tap in the HDMI here and it works so so far so good uh, thanks anchor for giving me a solid product here I'm quite happy with my unboxing and uh, yeah if you guys have any questions down below in the comments I did provide a uh, link through um, my description and Amazon I am an aff affiliate with Amazon if you do decide to purchase this I do get a small commission out of it um, okay thanks again for watching I'll see you in the next video